Hey guys, Rich here at Flippin' for a Living. Miss Flippin' on the... In the house! In the house. On the, on the Mega 8000 um, camera special... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what you're trying to say. We Hi iPhone. everybody, I'm here. We film with an iPhone. We have no special, special apparatus. So uh, welcome to Flippin' for a Living. It's a very light day of garage sales. I virtually got nothing on Friday. It's a long weekend. There wasn't very many sales, so it's gonna be a short video except for I'm rambling. Starting off with, check that out. Five bucks each. And these chairs, when I saw this price, I thought for sure they were gonna be trashed, like super trashed, but they're actually, honey, come take a look. Feel that. Feel how nice and soft and sturdy they are. Mm -hmm. Right? Very. But they're like mint shape. Like these had to be easily $50 chairs. There's no way these weren't 50 bucks a piece wherever they were uh, new. And we got four of them for 20 bucks. Uh, easily gonna resell these for 75 bucks for the set. That'll be like super low, fast, quick sale. Probably sell them like in a couple minutes on Facebook Marketplace. As soon as they fix my Facebook Marketplace. In the comments down below, let me know if you have any issues with Facebook Marketplace. I'm currently blocked from selling on there and it's not because I'm a bad seller. There is a glitch because I have zero community violations. Bikes. Bike season's already winding down for me even though it's just the end of July, beginning of August. I don't want to get stuck with bikes all winter, but these two bikes were amazing. This bike here was 20 bucks. It did have a flat tire, but we've talked about that, right? 15 minutes to change flat tire, eight bucks for a tube. So we're in for 28 bucks. This bike will easily sell for 75, maybe even a hundred bucks. Um, it's in perfect shape CCM. This vintage bike, on the other hand, is like a bazillion years old. Um, something about this bike. When you see this down here, this is where the actual gears are. You know that that makes it even like a decade or two older than you think it is. This type of gear system, I'm not, I'm not being really technical about it, but I just know that makes the bikes even a little bit older, like probably 60s instead of 70s or 80s. Anyways, I rid this, I rid this bike. I rode this bike up and down the alley and gears work, brakes work, everything is great on it. A little bit of surface rust, no big deal. But this was 25 and she took 20. Also, I'm gonna sell that one for a hundred bucks. So two great deals on bikes. Um, Seems like every weekend I'm getting a small stack of records. This is another stack. Nothing really special in here though. It's just weird. This is more like the weird record section, but when you can get them for a buck and make sure and look that they're the right record and they're not scratched up if you have time to look. But Tijuana Christmas, Bob and Doug McKenzie, you might not know who, that are, who they are unless you're Canadian. They are Canadian icons. SNL. SNL. People might That's know. That's right. SNL. They they were both on Saturday Night Live. Was he on Saturday Night Live? Uh huh. Yeah. But obviously, honey, we shrunk our kids. Everybody knows who that is. What was his name? I don't remember. Honey, I shrunk the kids. He just got attacked or something like that not that long ago. Really? Yeah. Walking down the street. That's horrible. What I the heck's believe... his name? I can't. This believe... is embarrassing. We should know this guy's we're name. We're not. We can't even show We're this not part. Good Canadians at all, because they're both Canadians and SNL icons. Honey, I shrunk. Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. I got it. An early um, Diana Ross record, 1980. That's kind of nice. An Elvis Christmas album that'll easily sell for 15 bucks. This is the best ABBA album out there. And then a few other, sorry, Disney ones. Got to show you those. We oh, could Jungle these Book. Later. Oh. Jungle Book. You recognize all those. Cinderella on record. And the Aristocats. Like, oh, wow. come on, man. Sleeping, and Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Nice. But this ABBA album is the absolute tits. It's got all the best. Waterloo, Mamma Mia, Fernando, Dancing Queen. Knowing Me, Knowing You, The Name of the Game. They're all on here. Chikatita. I want to listen to that right now. Chikatita. Chikatita. Chikatita, you and like I Like, they're all know. on here. This is the best ABBA album you could ever find. 
<laughs> Anyways, long tail, right? When you're selling all these records, but at a buck a piece, and we're gonna resell them for like twelve, fifteen dollars a piece. This ten bucks will turn in for like one hundred twenty to one hundred fifty dollars easily. Uh, a couple board games. When they have a nice deluxe poker rummy game in the box, wood case with the tiles for a dollar, you gotta buy it. Even if you don't know anything about it, sometimes just take a chance for a buck. And Canadian Monopoly for a buck. Those were awesome. Uh, back and forth I'm going here. The only clothing I bought today, but it's a really nice NASCAR windbreaker, some really nice shape, NASCAR International. Paid five bucks for this. Um, I expect to get about $35 for that. So a great little markup. I'm gonna save that till the end. Bocce ball, look at this bocce ball set, never used. That's nice. I actually have a cute story around this. I don't know if I should tell it though. Well, just tell it and you can cut it out if you don't want to. cut it out if I don't like it. What I, what I found really cute about this was, we just talked about the Rough Riders. Um, this was a cute little um, family that migrated. Can I say that? Immigrated? That immigrated. Not migrated, but immigrated. <laughs> they Migrate, they're they not animals. Here. They could have flown here. Okay. Yeah. She could hardly speak a lick of English and she admitted it, but she had been here for a while and it was just cute talking to her. She was talking about her husband who bought all this stuff and it's like, they came to Canada and they just wanted to be, they came to Saskatoon, wanted to be a part. Aww. They wanted to be a part of I it, I love right? that story. I do, I love it. I, I thought it was kind of endearing. Yeah, but so they got they, right into the Sask Rough Riders. Did. Yeah. <laughs> they spent their hard-earned money on these Rough Rider bar stools. I know these chairs are like 129 bucks a piece at the Rough Rider store. The 100 years of Rough Riders, these bar stool, or, you know, they're just really nice chairs. They had a set of them. And the bocce ball set, like classic, like North American stuff, right? Anyway, so yeah, her husband was getting rid of all this stuff. He she just said he doesn't care about the, he doesn't care about the Rough Riders. Neither he just wanted to be included in yeah, it. That's just, really it's really such a awesome. Big thing. Yeah, We're, it's like the Green Bay Packers. Like it, people are fanatical about it in this area. But this, I almost felt bad. But they sold me these chairs for five bucks a piece. Like I'm only gonna Ooh. get like seventy five dollars a piece for them. And then this um, sign. I have no how I have no idea how much this retailed for, but it was also five bucks. Sorry, did I say five bucks on these? These yeah. are 10 bucks each. Yeah. This was five bucks. And then this bocce ball set, which they never use. There's not a scratch on it. She sold me for $10. Like this is like easy, like 45 bucks. Like instantly, as soon as I post it, it'll sell locally. So from these people, um, 10, 20, 25, $35. And we're gonna get over 200 and it'll sell quick again. Cause the rider's home opener. So that was, it was just really cute that they just were so into being in Canada. Um, one of my favorite purchases of the day, this awesome accordion sewing kit. This is the larger one. I've had quite a few of these over the last 15, 20 years. But this one is just a little bit more mid-century with these handles. She had it for 18 bucks. Very cute price. She took 15 for it. Um, I used to just sell these locally and happy to get like 50, 60 bucks, but I'm seeing now that these are selling on Etsy for like a hundred, hundred and twenty-five dollars. So that's where this one is going. And a whole bin of brand new um, for embroidery rolls of thread for five bucks. So all of that was 20 bucks. This is easily going to be $150 out of that. I bought this for you. Why? Well, because it's the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Candle holder. Oh, yeah. It was party light. I think I remember them selling that when I used to. Is it party light? So this could be worth a lot of money. I'm pretty sure it's party light. I this can't... is also from this couple. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Two bucks for that. Oh. So if it's party light, that's, I haven't looked this up yet, but if it's party light. It's I probably, could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's probably like 30 or 40 bucks then. Yeah. I was just thinking we'd put it outside and put a candle on it. Yeah. Okay. Globes, older globes in mint shape, always sell easily for like 25, 30 bucks locally. Um, I paid five bucks for this one. So that's a good six times our money. Is Crokinole a Canadian thing? I don't know, but I love Crokinole. Okay. Uh, like brand new condition Crokinole board with the box, all the pieces. I did pay 10 bucks for that. So we can keep that because we like it. I love Crokinole, yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll keep it. Um, I got 
two, drop them back here. Just two beer related uh, little duffel bags for a buck a piece. Coors Light and OV. Those will sell for about 20 bucks a piece on eBay. How's the lighting? It's okay. Yeah. I'm just looking weird. at our half painted house at the back there, so you'll have to. Okay, we'll, we'll go over here so they can't oh. see us. Or, or go finish the painting. I know, right? Go finish the painting. She just gave me the finger. No, I didn't. I gave you the stink eye. The stink eye. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's facial finger. <laughs> it's the facial finger. <laughs> I got this one Build-A-Bear with a ton of clothing. Some of it's still brand new. Oh, cute. With the tags. Yeah. I mean, wow, stuff, look at all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's not as, it uh, doesn't sell for as much as it used to, but still with this many outfits and that Build-A-Bear, this 10 bucks is probably going to get me close to $100. There's a huge quantity there. A lot of these little outfits are like 20, 30 bucks a piece. And there's probably a dozen there. So that was a good purchase. <clears throat> one vintage Beyblade still in box for $1 will sell for 25. One WWE Smackdown Raw Rumble in the Jungle. I don't know what this is. A cage fighting <laughs> it's thing? It's some kind of cage extreme match thingy and I believe it's missing a top. So it might be worthless. Tell me what you think. If you know anything about wrestling, help me out. I paid a buck for this. Did I just throw away a dollar? I don't think I did, but I might have. This Ever After High um, set of books, the Storybook of Legends box set, three books in there. I paid five bucks for this, thinking I might get like $25 for it. Go to Amazon right now. Check this out. They're selling. Uh, I'm gonna send this in to FBA, fulfilled by Amazon. 80 to 90 dollars wow Canadian. it's sealed still what yeah the heck? that's why it's selling for that yeah much. the open ones are only selling for about 25 bucks but the sealed one people are getting 90 bucks for them on amazon fba jeff bezos <laughs> murder your wife blah 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 what does that say? murder your wife i don't Isn't think that that's part of, part of i don't think so eat their drink their blood blah 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 i don't think that's at all it's part of the song I don't know. I can't remember what it is. Something about how he's rich, but Bo I don't think Burnham he... Burnham sings it. Yeah. There's a lot of blood and profanity and sexual content. Is there? Song. I've never listened to the whole song. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some more dollar section stuff. These vintage all-in-one remotes, Logitech and Harmony. These were a buck a piece. These sell for like 25, 30 bucks. Those I are remotes love. or phones? They're remotes. Weird. Digital, like... Yeah, cool. Little screen and everything. Yeah rechargeable no batteries required they might even be like wi-fi or something i don't know That's they're cool. really old but people still use them um and yeah it's like a buck 30 bucks a buck 30 bucks two bucks 60 bucks wow where can you do that that's yeah. awesome is it too dark for you to move closer well i was thinking it'll get sh darker yeah, if okay. i do this is the when wet wheel I literally walked away from this garage sale and then I'm like, okay, I haven't really bought much much stuff yet. So I Googled this in the car and these sell for about 30 bucks. The last two on eBay, one sold for 25, one sold for 35. This was three bucks. I plugged it in, it worked. So I think it's a what good- What is it? It's a little um, wet wheel. Oh, okay. Don't ask questions. It's a wet wheel machine, hollow grinder, sharpener, honer. Oh, I see. Yeah, oh, for knives and whatnot, gotcha. Or polishing rocks. I don't know. Okay. okay. Two helmets. Which one do you think is worth more? Star Wars? All clear, General. Green light. Go! Go! Um, Stormtrooper or Goalie Mask? Which one's worth more? I paid five bucks for each. Goalie Mask. You're absolutely correct. These retailed new for like 50, 60 bucks, and I'll be able to resell that for about 25, 30 tops. Goal masks, and make sure you're actually getting a real goalie mask that have the stickers on it, because the street hockey masks look really similar, but you can't use them to play hockey, because if you get hit in the face with a hard slap shot, those street hockey ones will like break like an egg. These are 
professionally designed for real hockey and these kind of masks are like two to three hundred dollars brand new paid five bucks i should easily get like 75 dollars for this last few things i got a wii for 10 bucks what a wii and we i got a wii <laughs> you got i got a, a wii. wii you got a wii hey you can't use other people's um it's only if it's a derogatory that's being derogatory, talking about someone having to wait. Is it? I am sorry. Uh, anyways, we get to do the, we never, I never got to do this. I'll start with the GameCube. GameCube, bought it, paid 20 bucks. Like there's nothing with it, no games, no controllers, but I have extra controllers. I'll throw a couple crappy games in with this and I'll get $100 out of this $20 investment. And then the Wii was only 10 bucks and we get to quickly go live right now and see Every time you buy a game system, honey, it's like Christmas morning. It's like Christmas morning because very often people forget when they unplugged it that there was still a game in it. Mm -hmm. Can you see me mm -hmm. in the dark? Mm -hmm. It's like almost 10 o'clock here. I know. So, what do you think? Yes or no? We're going to get a game. I'm going to say no. times I get games I can't believe there isn't one in there but there is a memory card two gigabytes sweet maybe there's something on it something very oh I can't believe we didn't get a game anyways we use for 10 bucks you got to buy them you can't not buy them is that everything um I think yeah. so so this was the story this was we we're gonna have a campfire story because it's so dark out but I'll just tell it real quick um where can I sit? Why don't you sit right here? Well, I don't want people to see the messy garage. Okay, well then sit right here. I'll sit right here with the bed there? Yeah. Okay. Let's tell a story about this guy. He was so cute. One of the last sales I went to. Everybody sit, gather around. Everybody gather around to hear the story. I'll try and tell it fast. He didn't have much for sale. He's like, go in the garage, look at whatever you want, find whatever you want. He had a few things laid out. He had a, he used to work at a car dealership. He had these wooden plaques that had like pictures of like cars from like the 1900, early 1900s on them. And I'm like, how much are those? Well, make me an offer. I wouldn't make him an offer. I said, well, what do you, like throw me a number. And he was like, well, last time I saw those, they were like 2,000, but I would take 1,000. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, it's one of these kind of sales. And he was just chatty, talking about everything. Then he's got a license plate from 1929, which is really, really old. Like that's really old. And old license plates sell for money. But it was a dealer plate. It said dealer on it. And I'm like, oh wow, that's super cool. How much do you want for that? Well, make me an offer. I said, I'm sorry, I just don't like making an offer. I don't want to offend you. Well, last time I checked it up there, um, one was like $1,500, but I'll let it go for a thousand. Mm -hmm. Like for real. Mm -hmm. And then he had a set of like six um, of the small liquor bottles still in some kind of case that he said he got those for being a special kind of dealer like 30, 40 years ago. Only dealers got them some kind of like it just had like six little alcohol bottles in it he wanted a thousand bucks how did you know <laughs> he seriously wanted a thousand bucks what yeah i'm like man you really got to keep an eye on that like three thousand dollar worth of stuff sitting out and it's kind of a shady area so then i'm looking at these coke tins i mean these little coke trays and these are all originals i mean you just know they reproduce this stuff like so many fakes out there, but the story made sense, you guys. Okay, you just gotta trust me, this guy's house and his garage, it was full of old shit. You know that these are authentic. So there's five of them. This one is from 1980, like not insanely old. You can see right on there, 82. Um, he had these and then this Pepsi one, which I did Google search, Google, um, picture Ooh, that's on nice. yeah yeah and it popped up right away and this is selling for like 50 bucks um 
so same thing, like make me an offer. I'm like, oh, I don't want to. But I, I had to finally just, you know, suck it up and make an offer. I told him, I'll give you 25 bucks. Each? I'm like, no, for all of them. Oh. And he kind of grunted and groaned and then told a story about how valuable they are. They weren't worth $1,000. But bottom line is he sold them all to me for 20 bucks. I talked him into it. So I'm curious now if I need to go back and see if he'll take 20 bucks for all those other $1,000 items. <laughs> um, it was just cute. So I might cut that out. So the short version of these awesome Coke and Pepsi trays is that they're all original. I paid 20 bucks for all of them and we should easily be able to get like 200 for all six of them. So nice. yeah, a great way to finish the day. Literally the last one before we came home. So that's it for today, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. I would love it if you subscribe to the channel, maybe told two to 25 to 50 friends about the channel and forced them to subscribe also <laughs> because I would really like to have more viewers. Um, questions, comments, put them in the comment section below. Subscribe, notification bell, blah, blah, blah. I do actually appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. So thank you for that. I hope you all have a great day and love, love what, what you, you do. do.